I'm a real estate agent in Phoenix, Arizona, so I talk to many people who are thinking of moving to Arizona or just want to know more about Arizona. And inevitably, one of the most commonly asked questions is about the dreaded scorpion. People ask me, how much do I need to worry about scorpions because I'm deadly afraid? Do they sting? I have small children or pets or somewhere along those lines. As someone who's been living in Arizona for almost my whole life, I feel qualified to answer these questions. So let's get into it. The most common type of scorpion here in Arizona is the Arizona bark scorpion and it's a small light brown scorpion common to the Arizona desert. An adult male can reach eight centimeters long or a little, a little bit over three inches and the female is slightly smaller reaching seven centimeters or just under three inches. But they can vary a little bit in color and size but mostly look like this. Are they common? Yes, they are native of Arizona. So depending on where you live in the valley, you may never see one or you may see one from time to time. I personally have been living here for most of my life and I probably seen five or seven total inside. Do they sting? Yes, they do sting. And the Arizona bark scorpion is considered the most venomous species in the United States. And the stings are similar in pain to a bee sting and can get severe and problematic to those people who maybe have an allergy. Is it lethal? It is very rare to die from a scorpion sting, but it could be fatal to people or pets who have an allergic reaction. But even if you are not allergic to the venom, it can still be very painful and uncomfortable and you can have all kinds of symptoms. So what are the symptoms? Obviously the pain, it's sharp and a tingly sensation, there's redness, itching, swelling. I was stung once by a scorpion when I was in college. I was watching TV at home and I felt something crawl up from under my pants and it stung me around my knee area. And I reacted very quickly, so I may have interrupted the sting. Um, I don't know, but luckily it wasn't that bad. And it was painful and uncomfortable like a bee sting. So if you've ever been stung by a bee, you know what I'm talking about. But luckily that was it. I was sore in the area for a day or two and I still called my doctor and I got information online. So I followed the instructions on what to do when you get stung and that was the end of it. So where do they live? Normally scorpions like to live outside under rocks or rock crevices and different places. They prefer cool and moist areas and what attracts them to your house could be food and water and people have found them trapped in sinks or bathtubs or climbing on a wall or in a dark closet. They are nocturnal and they prefer shade. In the winter time, they will hibernate and often congregate in large groups, so they are social. In fact, people say that when you see a scorpion, that probably means that there's three or four more nearby because they travel in groups. So what do they eat? Scorpions are predators. They eat all kinds of other desert insects like spiders, centipedes, and even other scorpions. What is their lifespan? They live from two to six years and some even longer. I was surprised to learn that actually. Other fun facts, they glow in the dark. Yes, if you cast a fluorescent light or a black light, they will glow like a glow stick like this. So if you wanna check around your house to see if there's scorpions, do this at night, turn off all the lights and use a black light and just check around. Another fun fact is that scorpions give birth in the summer months and their babies travel on their mother's back until they molt, which take about three weeks. It looks like this. See all those babies? There you have it. I think you're an Arizona bark scorpion expert now. Let me know in your comments below if you learned something new and if there was something that I may have missed. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time.